Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and welcome back to our YouTube channel, Zion Kenya TV. Personally, I'm very much fine and I believe that this video is going to find you well wherever you are. If this is your first time you are watching me, kindly request you to take a one second and click the subscriptions button and subscribe the channel. In that next time when I upload to you such kind of a video, the video will automatically come to your YouTube platform. And uh, we believe we will deliver you the best as we welcome you to the home of political analysis that is Zion Kenya TV. And to the members, I'm very much actually impressed. Very grateful to the effort you guys were doing. And I want to take this chance to say may you continue with the same spirit through your subscriptions, likes and also comments. It is actually your effort which has made this video or this channel to reach where is it as at now. Now, 2008, if you are there through God's grace, Yuweru Kaguta Mseven killed so many Kenyans around Lake Victoria, border in Uganda. Today, I'm very much perplexed. I've unfortunately very much late to share to you this breaking news that Ugandan armed forces spotted escorting trailers suspected firing arms in Kenya. This has shocked so many people in the Republic of Kenya who mostly were at the border. There's a video trending how these people were urging the government that this trailer should be checked. What is it carrying? But the police <laughs> officers were trying to deny them a chance to access what might be inside the trailer. Why am I saying this? This government are always keeping on talking evils, but this might be their last chance we are waiting for tomorrow. I want to say this before I analyze one, two, or three on this matter. God will fight us. He fought for the people of Israel and they emerged the winner. However, how much William Samuel Ruto will dictate Kenyans day in, day out. He won't succeed because he don't give any Kenyan life or air to breathe. That one he should know. And this is his message. However, how evil you are and the commander of the defense forces trying this theatric or pathetic manner behavior, you can't succeed. And I used to tell you, Kenyans, this man is hiding in church. But the characters is so evil. That is why there is a video which was trending in TikTok. That better we have a president who drink rather to have someone who pretends to be a Christian. Very dangerous. That was, by the way. Now, why is this trailer bringing tension? As Raila Amulodinga has raised the alarm that they have spotted a trailer which was being controlled by armed forces from Uganda. It means that the president of Uganda, Yoweru Museveni, knows very well what is going on. Not only Raila Amolodinga has raised this alarm, I was even reading Otienda Molo and other Kenyans. It has gone viral so over, all over. One, one thing I know is this. 
these people might be carrying dangerous weapon yes we agreed today's news as those who follow the politics of kenya kalonzo Musyoka raised an alarm also that these people the people the goons who killed so many people at mulolongo are the goons who are being arranged to kill the so-called i don't want to mention their name Raila Odinga and the rest which actually it is impossible because life is god is the life is being given by god you can't force someone to die unless you want to force him through killing him so if this is what the government want now why is this trailer bringing tension let us get back to our drawing board the key point in this matter or topic of today is this as people are demonstrating kenyans are very alert kenyans have understand the character development which is being portrayed by the both president and the interior seers. They know their evil thought. So that is why this thing have been exposed. The second analysis is this. <laughs> you can say that Raila has someone in the government. I ask myself, those people who are talking in the video, are they close with Raila Amolo Dinga? What am I trying to say? It is very well indicated that the people who are trying to, to alert Kenyans were those who are doing clearance at the border. But they were curious, furious enough to know what is going on. That was a tense due to demonstration which will carry on tomorrow. Why? Because Moses Korea and the team Kimani Chungwa are always speaking very evil thoughts. And that is why this might drive these people who are at the port to raise this alarm. The second, the third analysis, fellow Kenyans, is that why are police officers are denying those who are doing clearance at the port to check the trailer. This might bring tense and that is why it has reached to the social media. Then I ask myself, what will the President of the Republic of Kenya react on this matter? How will he react together with his deputy? The answer is here. This man is a pretender. This is how we will do. We are going to do investigation. After this, we shall check what is going on. So, he will say a lot of stories. But it is very sad eh, to, to have such kind of uh, behavior where the police officers knows what is going on. However, how much you are being used to it by the current president. I said in the last video, that the power is not permanent. This message must go back to the sender. And my sender is the president. The power is not permanent. Regarding Kashagwa, the power is not permanent. You will use forces to abduct me or to abduct anyone else. Remember what we've said today in social media. As words are like fossils of civilization, will remain forever for remembrance to teach our future Kenyans, our future children, even your future grandchildren. So do good to Kenyans. Rectify your mistakes. How can you rectify your mistakes? By calling out peaceful consolidation. I'm still keeping on repeating. You have to talk with the former Prime Minister. You have to humble yourself. The government of Kenya Kwanza is just thumping as if they own the world. But Kenyans are watching. It is not all about Raila. It is all about 
the people's concept, the people's living, high living standard. However, you will dictate them, but the reality remains that the government is using evil to underrate those who are demonstrating. They are using evil's plans. And that is why this incident have gone viral in social media. We all know your plans of tomorrow. As you have withdrawn the security officers from those who are demonstrating, plus their core principles, that one won't help you. The reality, you have to sit down and copy the AX president, Uru Kenyatta, how he runs the government until he made it successful at the railway uh, standard gauge and the rest, that Mombasa road which demonstrators were doing. The last option is this, that I want to share or I would like to pass on. When Kibaki took over the office, the late Kibaki, he found the office was having zero in the cup. If I'm very much doing my analysis. But if I'm lying, you can as well comment. It is free to say whatever you want to say. But now, the same government is very much surprising, saying that <laughs> the country is broke. <laughs> you know, there are some things that we, we, we always say as if we address children. But the fact remains, this government should not have even indulged into this too much talks rather than to concentrate on the economy basis. Now look at what they are doing. Look. Exporting firearms from Uganda to kill Kenyans. Which means the Ugandans GSU or the Ugandans Flying Squad or the Ugandans Rikers Squad or the Ugandans Navies, whichever, are now in Kenya. Now the Kenyans Defense Forces and GSU will not participate in keeping peace but they will use for Ugandans. So that is the reality. I want to conclude by saying let the government stop this and have a dream for Kenya. Ladies and gentlemen, what are your conclusions on this Raila's red alert or Azimio red alert? What can you say? You can as well drop your comment at the comment section below. Bye bye, as I wish you all the best and a good evening. Remember to stay focused at Zion Kenya TV. Don't forget to subscribe, like and also comment. Bye bye till we meet in the next video. Thank you very much.